It's such a beautiful sunny morning today. Everything just seems to be bright and colourful and it just feels like the perfect day to head off to my studio to paint a beautiful bridal bouquet for a client. So I thought I'd take you along. Let's head off to my studio and I'll show you how I go about it. This bridal bouquet painting will be making its way to a client in the UK. So the client has asked for the painting once it is dry to be rolled and delivered in a tube for framing on the other side. This is a little bit more affordable to send overseas. So I am measuring out the size of the canvas. I won't be painting it on a stretched canvas. I'm measuring out canvas that I order in from my supplier and I measure it to just slightly bigger than the size that, of the painting that the client has ordered so that there is space on either side for the painting to then be stretched or framed once it reaches the client. Once I have the painting the right size, I then attach it to a wall in my studio and actually stretch out the canvas as you would stretch it on a wooden stretcher, only I'm using a staple gun to staple it and stretch it to the wall in my, in my studio. Next, I make sure that the surface is properly primed. Although the canvas I buy does have a little bit of primer and is actually made for uh, oil paintings or acrylic paintings, I ensure that the canvas is really well primed by giving it an extra layer before I begin. I use some painter's tape to mark off the edge of the painting because the canvas is slightly bigger than the size of the painting. Now I'm ready to get started. Preparation for my bridal bouquets actually start long before I'm cutting the canvas and attaching it or priming it in my studio. Preparation for the bridal bouquets actually begins in my sketchbox. Now if you've been watching along you'll know that I love to spend the first few minutes in the morning in my studio in my sketchbox. It just gets me focused and really just gets me loose and into a really good space in my studio. So my sketchbox are all, almost like my little morning warm-up routines. But long before I start to paint a bridal bouquet, I'm already in my sketchbox plotting out little thumbnails, looking at the images of the blooms that I've been sent, drawing them, plotting out the, uh, how the painting is going to sit on the canvas, looking at the composition, looking at the linear angles within the composition and how I want it to sit on the canvas. I also play around with some other materials, really just to get me looking at the blooms, looking at the shapes, looking at the textures, looking at the forms, really just looking, looking, looking at the flowers as much as possible. I'll even pull out similar flowers in my studio. In the case of this bouquet, it had a beautiful protea in it. I'll often just pull out some other blooms in my studio, even dried blooms, and look at their shapes and forms and just play in my sketchbooks using my little morning routine as a chance to become familiar with these blooms. Because the more I paint, and the more I look at these blooms, the more the blooms in the bouquet start to feel like old friends. And once I start the painting, I really am excited about getting down some shapes and forms that I've been playing with in my sketchbooks. Eventually it's time to get that canvas up on the wall and I start by plotting out the basic shapes and forms with my paintbrush, getting in the basic structure of the bouquet and then the fun can begin with the paint. For privacy reasons and just out of respect for my client, I won't obviously be sharing the bouquet that I am painting because it is their personal wedding photos, but lots goes into 
deciding with the bride whether she wants a dark, rich background, whether she wants light background, the colors she wants to come through in the painting, the mood and the feel of the painting that she's looking for. There's a lot that goes into preparing for the bouquet to ensure that the feel of the bouquet is exactly what the bride is looking for. There's also a lot of communication with the client while I'm busy painting the painting. So I will send them images to, as I progress through the painting, obviously not at the very beginning stages where it's really messy, but as I progress through the painting, I will send the client images of how it's progressing so that any changes can be made along the way. So this bridal bouquet painting has had at least two weeks drying time. We're in the height of summer. So the humidity means that the oil paint takes just a little bit longer to dry. So it's all dry. It's ready for me to package up. All I need to do is remove all the tape, the masking tape around the edge. I need to remove that, pull it off the wall and get it packed up and ready for delivery. Now you'll notice that the bridal bouquets are a little bit more detailed and perhaps a little bit more realistic than some of my other work purely because I do have to ensure that the bride's bouquet looks like the bride's bouquet. I can't be too experimental in these pieces. Although if you look really closely, which I'll show you now, you can see that my mark making is still relatively loose and expressive and lots of little chunky, beautiful marks in there, but not quite as expressive perhaps as this piece here next to it, which I have been working on simultaneously. So uh, lots of lovely expressive marks when you look up close. Let me give you a little bit of a detailed tour and you can have a look. And that's a wrap. It's time to pack up this beautiful memory of a beautiful day and get her off to her forever home. Obviously I'm removing the tape here. Sometimes clients choose to have their paintings done on a really stretched canvas, but this painting will be rolled up and safely nestled into a tube to make her way to the UK. If you would like details on my different bridal bouquet packages, please email me at Heidi at HeidiShedlock.com. Otherwise, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you back here next Sunday.